All the watches and all the warnings have either expired or been canceled. The heaviest activity now moving through parts of Lancaster and Berks County, starting to let up in Lebanon and York counties right now. But it's still getting some moderate rain out there. A good, pretty good soaker. There are some straggler showers back behind it. A few thunder showers up over northern Pennsylvania. That's with the actual front. But we're going to start drying out here pretty soon. You can see the moderate rain in and around uh, northeastern parts of uh, Lancaster County. As you go a little farther west, though, Harrisburg and even Hershey are starting to dry out now. In fact, you can see that on our Hershey sky cam. The rain coming down, even some breaks in the clouds. It's still pretty sticky out there, though, at this hour. Uh, 72, the rain cooled the temperatures down, uh, but it's still, the dew points are still up there near that 70 degree mark. So, yeah, it's feeling kind of sticky, and that's the way it'll be this evening. But again, the storms should start to come to an end. Could still be a few showers in eastern counties, even up to about 8 o'clock or so, but I think the heaviest of the storms is now over with and everything will start to wind down. We'll drop down into the 60s overnight tonight. There could be a little bit of patchy fog as the skies start to clear a little bit, especially if your neighborhood had the torrential downpours. But it won't be as muggy tonight. It'll start to feel a little better, and I think that's the key for tomorrow. A more comfortable day out there. Sunshine, nice breeze out of the west, 10, 15, maybe 20 miles an hour. That's going to make it feel much different out there. Still a warm summer day in the low 80s, but I think it'll feel much better out there because of the humidity coming down. Pollen count remains on the moderate side for tomorrow. Air quality is moderate also. UV index coming up, where it looks like with sunshine, it'll be about a 9, so uh, just about a 15-minute burn time. The heaviest of the activity is moving off to the east of us and temperatures are starting to fall because of the rain. But look at temperatures back to our west in the 60s. Yeah, there's uh, all this activity is in advance of a cold front that is pushing in. We were in that southerly flow, very humid air today. We're getting into this drier northwesterly flow by the time we get into tomorrow. Things will feel a lot better out there. So still some showers around, but which one with temperatures in the 70s, recovering back to 75 already in Chambersburg. I think we get a little bump for the next few hours. Temperatures may actually come up a few degrees. Then they'll start sliding back down. You see the rain moving out of here. 9, 10, 11 o'clock, we are dry. Could be a little bit of patchy fog. Watch for that tonight. But tomorrow morning, we started in the 60s. It's going to feel much different out there. And look where the winds are coming from tomorrow. From the west and southwest, it's still a warm air direction, but it's a drier direction. It's going to feel much nicer in the next couple of days with pleasant humidity. It starts to crank up, but not nearly as oppressive as it was over the weekend by the end of the week. So summer comes in on a pretty nice note. I'm going to mention a shower on Wednesday. There's a little disturbance going by maybe in the morning to check with me tomorrow. We'll have a better idea. looks like a nice one on Thursday. Humidity starts cranking up a little bit, so could be some showers and some storms as we get later in the week and heading toward the weekend. Of course, we'll fine tune that forecast as we get a little closer. Also, let's see how things are on the roadways at this hour.